following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. And now, the doctors, dedicated to the brotherhood of healing. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Are you sure? It definitely sounds like a turning point. Right. Right, Matt. I'll be up in a couple of minutes. Well, I'm sure you'll both be glad to know that Julie Forrest has passed the crisis point. Dr. Bellini, that's wonderful. Yeah, she expects, we expect she's going to be conscious today, although not fully rational. Oh, wow. What a relief for the powers. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go see Matt for a few minutes, so... Take care of things while I'm away. All right. Any specific instructions? Oh, oh yeah. Dr. Vorce wants me to conduct a question and answer session with some students from a bacteriology class. So I want all those comparison yeah. charts brought up to date and put into a graph. All right. I okay? started. Uh-huh. Oh. Hey, Rico. What? Uh, are you all right? Huh? What do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? You look like you're up on some kind of cloud or something. I'm just thinking, that's all. Well, start thinking about work, all right? Martha, keep this guy busy. You got me? Yeah. Plenty busy. See you later. I'm sorry. That was my fault. I stopped to talk. Well, let's see. Where were we? Rico, your mind really is someplace else, isn't it? Well, on such a beautiful day, I can't blame you. Rico! <laughs> Are you going to hand me that jar? Are you going to just stand there and admire it? Here. Yeah. Thank you. What is on your mind, anyway? Me? Nothing. Yes, there was. Listen, we were working together like clockwork, and then suddenly you went off into orbit while Dr. Blaney was on the telephone. Well, uh, I've been thinking about the girl. Isn't that great news? Yeah, yeah. Well, I know she's not one of your favorites, but I think... What do you mean? I got nothing against her. Huh? Oh, oh, you mean because she was hurt, yeah. Yeah, sure. I, I've been worrying about her. I mean, she'll be okay today. They'll find out how she got hurt, right? Rico, I commend you for your compassion. Why not? Look, I've always suspected that somewhere... Underneath that tough hide, there was a human heart. And I also know that it's not easy to feel compassion for one of your arch hates. Look, uh, cut the hate stuff, will you? Yeah, of course. So. What do they expect to find out today? Uh, how she fell down the stairs? Oh, I think we'll find out everything in time. Come on, now, we've got a lot of work to do. And I better get started on that graph for Dr. Bellini. Comparison doesn't show us an awful lot. But uh, the operation is obviously successful. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like Henry's did just enough. Uh, yeah. Actually, he wanted to probe further, try to ascertain the exact cause of the pressure. I recommend it against it. Well, I think you were right, Matt. To go any further would have been risky. His job was to relieve the intracranial pressure, and he did just that. Of course, we may never know the, the real pathology now. Only by autopsy, and thank heaven we don't have to face that picture. Thank heaven is right. Yeah, now we got one problem solved. We're going to find out what happened. Well, we may, uh, we may find out something today. She's already given us a hint. She did? Last night she was conscious for a while and she muttered something about a struggle. Oh, well, Matt, I told you that. Yeah. I'd like to confirm it. She's more, uh, Coherent. Yeah, go into more detail. Yeah, I know. Well, there's no no urgency. At least now we know we'll know the details soon. Uh-huh. Well, for the past few days, you and Maggie have really been going through something. Well, Mike, too. Yeah. He's hardly been able to work since the accident. 
Well, I'll have him working, Matt, once he gets back to the lab. Oh, uh, that's something I wanted no, to talk to you about. I... Don't worry. See, Rico will be in high school, and uh, I'll keep both of them apart. Okay? So you're way ahead of me. Yeah, well, look, I know my nephew. He's some kind of a human volcano. Comes by it naturally. <laughs> Dr. Powers. Hello, Matt. Matt? Yes. It's Steve. Uh, can you get right up here? I think that Julie's about to come, too. Uh, yes, I'll be right there. Oh, uh, Nick is with me. Well, by all means, bring him along. Right, we're on the way. Julie's coming around. Oh. Dr. Aldrich. We're going to take those bandages off now. Can you hear me? Yes. Turn off the overhead light. No, no, no. Stay quiet now. Stay quiet. Dr. Powers is on his way up to see him. How do you feel? I don't know. That's fair enough. All right, let's take off the bandages. Easy, Julie. Easy, 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 easy. Take it slow. Take it slow. Fall. That's right, Julie. You've got a fall. You're in the hospital. You spoke to us for a minute last night. Do you remember? No. Hello, Julie. Do you know me? Dr. Powers. That's right. Okay. Remember, she's very weak. We had no way of judging her tolerance for the medication. Can you hear me all right, Julie? Yes. I'm so fuzzy. Fuzzy? Mm. Yes, well, that's, that's all the medication you've had. You broke your arm. Hurt your head. Hurt. Uh, yes. Yes, you had a struggle. You, you, you told us that. Greta. Greta? Greta's fine. Ma. <coughs> she had a few moments' consciousness last night after you left. She mentioned Greta then, too. Oh, really? It was almost as though she was trying to say she was calling to Greta before she fell. All right, thank you. Julie, you said Greta. Greta what? What about Greta? Was there. She was there? What do you mean? She was in her room? Were you, you worried about Greta? Sick. Nurse, pull stop nausea. I wonder what this is about Greta. Well, maybe she called Greta, Matt. The attacker might have got scared. Thought it was the housekeeper or something like that. Mm. Is that possible? Mm hmm it's possible. All right, doctor. Well. Julie. You called out to Greta, is that it? Dr. Powers? Yes, that's right. You, uh, you called out and you fell, is that correct? Yes. Uh, just one more question. All right. Uh, Julie, you tore your dress. Tore? Yes. It's all right. It, it, it can be fixed. But how did it happen? Mm. 
He tore it. He? Yes. He. Julie, can you tell us who was there? Who else was there? All right, now, come on, that's enough. She slipped off. All right. Well, we know the main thing, Matt. Someone else was there. I thought she'd be more responsive. Yeah, but you yourself said there's no rush. No, I'm, I'm not concerned about the information now. I think of the patient. Yeah. yeah, I'll chalk it up to the medication. I mean, there's no other reason why she wouldn't be more coherent now. Yes, I suppose that's logical. Yeah. Well, I have no basis for disagreement. All right. Well, we'll try again later. safe with the sedation. Right, right. Well, she'll probably be more responsive tomorrow. Mm. Maybe even later today. Now that we know there was an intruder, I'd like to find out more. Yeah, we know one thing for sure. She's probably pushed. Matt. Anything? Uh, come on in. Well, it all, uh, all seems to fit. She mentioned the struggle again. Yes, what else? Well, apparently she cried out, called to uh, to Greta, screamed or something like that. And Greta didn't hear that? Well, the main thing is we've uh, established, at least, that we didn't misunderstand her last night. There was a struggle. Wait, you're telling me that you still don't know who it was. Why couldn't she tell you? Well, Maggie, she's under heavy sedation. She's still extremely weak. Now we just have to go along with the fact that there was uh, somebody else involved. Yes, just as Nick and Steve said from the beginning. Well, it had to be more than just a tumble, Maggie. There was some extra force involved. Well, then Detective Cadman was right, too. Who? Cadman? The uh, police officer, Sergeant Cadman. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was the guy I saw coming out of your office the other day, yeah. Seems to be conducting a... Preliminary investigation but on his own, apparently. And he believes somebody attacked Julie, huh? Mm, well, more than just that, I guess. He, he has an unidentified suspect. Oh. Well, that's a contradiction in terms, Matt. Oh, well, uh, Mrs. Nostrand, a, a neighbor of ours, saw a young man going into our house about, well, just before Julie had her fall. Yeah, what do you mean, going in? Was he breaking it? Why didn't she call the police? No, 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 just going in. Admitted at the front door. Well, presumably by Julie. Uh-huh. And he tore the dress. That's what Julie said. He tore it. Well, is, uh, is, she, is she sure about the time? Well, we don't, we can't know that. Heck, though, if she's like most witnesses, the more she thinks about it, the surer she's gonna get. A young man. She said he stayed about a half an hour. Uh-huh. Well, it seems to be the whole story, doesn't it? Yeah, well, even if she's off on a couple of details, it seems to fit in with everything else. Mm. Including the fact that he hurried away. No, yeah, well, I'm not denying that all the evidence certainly indicates that there was an attacker. Nothing to be, uh, nothing to be gained, I guess, by speculating. Well, we can find all that out from Julie. Well, yes, of course, unless she's in shock. Well, she is. She's just extremely weak. More so than I had, uh, I had expected at this point. Well, but that's not surprising. She hasn't been following the conventional path from the beginning. Matt, she's been through a lot, even more than she knows. 
Yeah, this Cadman character, who put him onto the case in the first place? No, he was in emergency, and somehow he found out about the, the torn dress. Oh, so he's the one uh, that tipped the newspapers about this, this mystery. No, not necessarily. They, police don't uh, encourage publicity any more than we do. Well, let's face it, Matt. We're going to get some now. That's for sure. Yeah, I'm afraid you're right. Oh, well, Matt, there's no reason to assume that it's going to center around the hospital. Except the fact that all of us that are involved here are associated with the hospital in some way. And this is where he's been asking all the questions. Yeah, except for that Mrs. Uh, Mrs. What's-her-name who lives down the street there? Yes, and uh, how many other people do you suppose Mrs. Nostrand is told by now? Oh, no, come on. Don't get worked up. You're, you're imagining a, a whole street full of curiosity seekers. Oh, Matt, of I'm course. I'm sure this Cadman seems very intelligent and discreet. Well, do you mean you think that he's been asking Mrs. Nostrand questions without letting her know what he wants or why? I think we can assume he's uh, that skillful. I believe you're right, Matt. Those guys can get the facts without giving any. I mean, they are ingenious. Well, I'm sure he is. Or at least, let's hope, not clumsy. Well, I just hope he finds him before he kills somebody. Rico, since those are clean, just store them in the cabinet under the counter, huh? Okay. Rico. I know, I heard you. Look, you couldn't be that worried about Julie. Nah. So what is it this time? Who says it's anything? Listen, preparing this graph for Dr. Bellini is just the beginning. He is going to prepare himself for those students as if it were a press conference. Reporters. What? There were those crazy stories in the paper about Julie. Don't tell me now that Julie's recovered. You're afraid she's going to start talking about you again. She acts a lot. Yeah, granted. But she's going to be so full of her own big adventure, she isn't going to have time for personal quarrels for quite a while. Oh, how is she, Dr. Bellini? Uh, she's okay, Martha. I think it'll be a little slower than we figured. But she is out of danger. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you mean, slower? Well, she's not exactly bubbling over with an account as to how the accident happened. Some of us thought we'd have the whole story by now. But you don't. No, not totally, but uh, we did get a couple of important details. You mean she can't talk or something? Look, then, how did you find out anything, Dr. Greeny? What? Uh, look, I know you're both interested, so whatever I say, let's keep it right here, all right? Well, of course. All right, now, she didn't exactly give us any new details, but it's, it's for sure that somebody else was in the house with her. Sure, the uh, little kid. No, I mean somebody else besides that. You, you mean somebody who hurt her? Did she say yeah. that? Well, no, not in so many words, but I, I was sure from the beginning that she just didn't stumble down the stairs. Now I know. I can't believe you mean somebody literally pushed her deliberately. Well, let's not uh, go ahead of the whole thing, Martha. Let's just say that she had a struggle at the top of the stairs. Did you figure that out all by yourself? No. Matt asked her how her dress was torn. And she said, he tore it. That's awful. That means that she actually was a cop. Hey. Hey, hey. What are, you, what are you doing? You know, you're lucky those were empty. Wait a minute now. Let me help. For crying out loud, Rico, what's the matter with you? All right, you now what? Just get me a... Pail, get me a box, get Will me a Will you plan. get going and help? Oh, I don't think it's too much damage, but... Doctor? Hmm? 103. Three. 
three, that can't be accurate. Dr. Aldrich? Yes, Julie. I have this funny feeling. <laughs> Doctor. Strip it, Beth. Strip it. Stay tuned to another world, next in color. Take it slow. Fall. That's right, Julie. You've got to fall. You're in the hospital. You spoke to us for a minute last night. Do you remember? No. Hello, Julie. Do you know me? Dr. Powers. That's right. OK. Remember, she's very weak. We had no way of judging her tolerance for the medication. Can you hear me all right, Julie? Yes. Look, uh, cut the hate stuff, will you? Yeah, of course. Sorry. What do they expect to find out today, uh, how she fell down the stairs? Oh, I think we'll find out everything in time. Come on, now, we've got a lot of work to do. And I better get started on that graph for Dr. Bellini. Comparison doesn't show us an awful lot. But uh, the operation is obviously successful, not the main yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, it looks like Henry's did just enough. Uh, yeah. Actually, he wanted to probe further, try to ascertain the exact cause of the pressure. I recommend it against it. Well, I think you're right, Matt. To go any further would have been risky. His job was to relieve the intracranial pressure, and he did just that. Of course, we may never know the, the real pathology now. Only by autopsy, and thank heaven we don't have to face that picture. Thank heaven is right. Yeah, now we got one problem solved. We gotta find out what happened. Well, we may, uh, we may find out something today. She's already given us a hint. She did? Last night she was conscious for a while and she muttered something about a struggle. Well, let's see, where were we? Rico, your mind really is someplace else, isn't it? 
Well, on such a beautiful day, I can't blame you. Rico! Huh? Are you gonna hand me that jar? Are you gonna just stand there and admire it? Yeah. Thank you. What is on your mind, anyway? Me? Nothing. Yes, there was. Listen, we were working together like clockwork, and then suddenly you went off into orbit while Dr. Blaney was on the telephone. Well, uh, I've been thinking about the girl. Isn't that great news? Yeah, yeah. Well, I know she's not one of your favorites, but I think... What do you mean? I got nothing against her. Huh? Oh, oh, you mean because she was hurt, yeah. Yeah, sure. I've, I've been worrying about her. I mean, she'll be okay today. They'll find out how she got hurt, right? Rico, I commend you for your compassion. Why not? Look, I've always suspected that somewhere underneath that tough hide, there was a human heart. And I also know that it's not easy to feel compassion for one of your arch hates. Oh, well, Matt, I told you that. Yeah. I'd like to confirm it, which is more uh, coherent. Yeah, go into more detail. Yeah, I know. Well, there's no no urgency. At least now we know we'll know the details soon. Uh-huh. Well, for the past few days, you and Maggie have really been going through something. Well, Mike, too. Yeah. He's hardly been able to work since the accident. Well, I'll have him working, Matt, once he gets back to the lab. Oh, uh, that's something I wanted no, to talk to you about. don't, don't worry. See, Rico will be in high school, and, uh, I'll keep both of them apart. Okay? So you're way ahead of me. Yeah, well, look, I know my nephew. He's some kind of a human volcano. Comes by it naturally. <laughs> Dr. Powers. Hello, Matt. Matt? Yes. It's Steve. Uh, can you get right up here? I think that Julie's about to come, too. Uh, yes, I'll be right there. Oh, uh, Nick is with me. Well, by all means, bring him along. Right, we're on the way. Julie's coming around. Oh. Hello, Julie? Julie, it's Dr. Aldrich. We're gonna take those bandages off now. Can you... The following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. And now, the doctors, dedicated to the Brotherhood of Healing. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Are you sure? It definitely sounds like a turning point. Right. Right, Matt. I'll be up in a couple of minutes. Well, I'm sure you'll both be glad to know that Julie Forrest has passed the crisis point. Dr. Bellini, that's wonderful. Yeah, she expects, we expect she's going to be conscious today, although not fully rational. Oh, wow. What a relief for the powers. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go see Matt for a few minutes, so... Take care of things while I'm away. All right, any specific instructions? Oh, oh yeah, Dr. Force wants me to conduct a question and answer session with some students from a bacteriology class. So I want all those comparison yeah. charts brought up to date and put into a graph. All right, I okay? started. Uh-huh. Oh. Hey, Rico. What? Uh, are you all right? Huh? What do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? You look like you're up on some kind of cloud or something. I'm just thinking, that's all. Well, start thinking about work, all right? Martha, keep this guy busy. You got me? Yeah. Plenty busy. See you later. I'm sorry. That was my fault. I stopped to talk.